exciting is this? I don't like this. <laughs> The road itself is decent, but it's narrow. It's just so narrow. And it's so green. Everything in here is green. Hello. Green, 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 green. A little bit muddy. We were just on our way to uh, a tea place up there. And on the side of the road, we saw that uh, locals are harvesting. So we stopped and they're so super friendly, so super cool. All the mountainside in here is covered with tea. Just bushes pretty much to my knee. Go on, go on. We got no idea how to get up there, but they said we can help them. Uh. <laughs> A jungle, a tea jungle. <laughs> oh, so bad. <laughs> and once the bag is full, then it's emptied over there. <laughs> Did you see the difference? A master doing it and a clumsy Estonian. <laughs> and they were just telling us that every summer they get to harvest tea for three times. <laughs> and uh, they get four tons. Uh, four tons of tea from here. That's amazing. Just imagine leaves, four tons of leaves. That's a lot. Does not really taste like tea. Tastes like regular leaves. <laughs> right? mm. We came on such a good time as well. It was just the end of the harvest. They've pretty much got everywhere. Like you can see in here, leaves have been all cut, but there was few bushes left to do. And now they're just packing their things together. And once the tea has been harvested, the bushes, they're so firm that they just throw the bags uh, down on the mountainside. They just roll on the bushes. Just yesterday, we were in a desert, and look at this. And now we're getting to taste the tea that's actually being collected on the very same hillside, just in here. That tea from there is now in here. Handmade. It's homemade <laughs> butter. Homemade butter and homemade cheese. Koi, 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 koi. We just saw them uh, harvesting tea on the side of the road and <laughs> once again, thank you so much. We are in their home. They're making us feel like we're part of the family. Teşekkürler. <laughs> Hello! Hey. Merhaba! Uh, <laughs> so cool! Even in the mountains, yeah. there's sheep in here and just a beautiful little farmhouse. Hey. <laughs> good, good, good. Hey. <laughs> I think I've never held a sheep before. Nah. <laughs> and when the weather is better, then the animals can stay outside in here as well which is really nice there's not a lot of room around those tea fields but 
I think it's awesome that they've made this space in here for the animals to actually be able to run around a little bit and move themselves. A cool fact about tea is that, you know, green tea and black tea, they're actually almost the same thing because they come from the same bush. The only difference is they are treated differently. So green tea is treated the way so that the oxygen wouldn't get it. And black tea is rolled and uh, oxidized more. So it turns brown, it turns black and green just keeps its color of the leaves. While Joe was uh, droning then, I still spent some time with the family and I was sent to bring Joe back because they're not leave let letting us leave before we have lunch with them as well. <laughs> I do feel that we sort of just ate. <laughs> they, they gave us half a loaf of bread, a lot of butter, cheese, all kind of stuff and we're like no, we, we don't want anything more to eat. And, and they're like, no, that's not food here. That's just for trying our things. Food is still coming. Nos <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So there's cheese, there's corn flour, and there's butter in it. And you eat it with bread. Butter, water. Master chef. <laughs> Beans and meat. Beans are again locally from the garden right here. Just perfect. And now we're gonna see how selling tea looks like. It's gonna be all loaded up on a truck and then to the factory where it's gonna be processed. I'd say like at least 60, 60 kilograms per per bag. And now we got a bit of an adventure. To a factory that buys those leaves. And that's the little uh, place where all the D is brought. Hospital Three bags are 203 kilos, so 67 kilos per bag. Our family brought in four, over 450 kilograms of tea in one day. Honestly, it smells so good in here that I feel the urge to just dive into the leaves and swim over there. This place is like a different sort of heaven. I love it. So we just came back from our journey to the middleman who buys the tea and we were asked to uh, spend the night here as well but 
that's kind of how it works in Turkey. We stopped to see how chai or tea is harvested. And now we're spending a day and a night with this amazing family. And what I really love about this place is also the fact that the water here is so, so clean. It comes straight from the mountains and you can just do this. Job needs to be done. Come, come. I'm actually really, really surprised that Mina did it. I thought she would not do it, but she did. It was unexpectedly easy. We had like a connection with the cup. Who could have known that I could enjoy milking a cow with my own bare little hands? And now I want to run around with him. Will you jump? No. <laughs> We've just been asked to join the family for dinner. What a beautiful dinner it was and uh, like Turkish people say they eat to have a excuse to have tea later. I just asked Merd as well how many times do they have tea and he said at least five, some, some days six. Easy. And now the most important tea of the day. There is so much love that has gone into making it and I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. 